There's not a day that goes by that I don't think about how lucky I am to still be alive. When you get a second chance at life, you approach it with a bit more veracity and a bit more will to live. Live life to the full, but live it wisely. It's fleeting. Greg Page, it is so nice that you are sitting here with us today. It's great to be here. <laughs> and that's a question I really mean, and that's an answer you really mean. Yeah, that's right. It is so good to be here uh, after what I went through in January 2020. I remember watching you on stage that night in your yellow skivvy and you're in good nick. I felt like I was. I'd been working up to it. I'd been exercising, going to the gym, walking seven and a half k's every day. I was playing competition tennis, competition cricket, and I could do all of that without having any of those sort of typical warning signs that they talk about. But you can't predict who's going to suffer a sudden cardiac arrest. It could be anyone, anywhere, anytime. Thank you, everybody! Woo! Thanks for coming to support all those wonderful people. Uh, guys, we, I think we're going to end it there. Greg's not feeling real well. I don't think we can go on. I remember that moment and that vision of when it all took place on stage. Yeah, quite, um, quite incredibly, I couldn't believe it either that the live stream of the Wiggles concert actually caught the moment I collapsed. And I think the thing that struck me the most was being in hospital and seeing my story covered on the news and I guess that was the moment I knew that I had to use my profile and my name and my image to promote this cause and, and make people more aware of it. It's a real passion project for you now, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's, it's a life's work now, I guess. Yeah. I know what I survived and I know I've come out the other side with a, a purpose and a mission to try and change outcomes for other people. And I can tell you feel that very deeply. Yeah, yeah, mm. I do. It's, um, it's, oh, I can't find the words, but it's about saving lives for families like mine that are torn apart when suddenly somebody's life is taken because mm. For a lot of people that have a cardiac arrest, there's no warning. There's no diagnosis of anything. Mm. I wasn't diagnosed with heart disease till after I had my cardiac arrest. And that's the case for a lot of people, I think, that have a cardiac arrest and for their families to find out that they had something that was going to take their loved one from them right there and then is frightening and harrowing. Why was your life saved that night? Because the chain of survival was strong for me. Mm. I mean, you had a nurse in the crowd that and, and night. And a GP too. Uh, incredible. <laughs> I, had, I had the most incredible set of circumstances mm. to give me the best chance of surviving. I was fortunate enough to have an AED available before the ambulance arrived. I reckon you must have a guardian angel or something. I, I had several around me that night. I refer to my responders as, as my angels who were watching over me that night. The, the awe that I hold them in, the fact that they did what they did, and that's, it, it is just awesome. They are my angels, and we need more angels out there by everybody's side. There was a moment and Murray came back on stage and reassured everyone that, that you were OK. I mean, these are guys that you've toured the world with. You're incredibly close, like family. How are they seeing you down like that? Yeah, I, I don't know. It's something we haven't spoken about since. You haven't spoken no, about that? No, you know, I, I can only imagine that it was pretty harrowing. I don't want to have to sort of bring that up. <laughs> you know, I, it, it is what it is. You know, I went down. It was a very horrendous situation, but it had a positive ending. Get ready to wiggle. We've been ready for so long. Get ready to wiggle. When you hey, wiggle. Jeffrey. Hey, yeah, how are you, mate? How are you, Jeff? <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you, mate. 
How long since you two have seen each other? Oh, gee, a few months probably, wouldn't it? Yeah. I don't know. But, but it's funny, it's like riding a bike. When we see each other, it's just like old times. Yeah. Nothing's changed. I mean, is this man family to you? <laughs> yes, of course. Yeah, yeah the, the Wiggles have always been family. It's, um, yeah, it's a, it's a funny old family, but the, the times that we've had together, the things we've done together, the stories that we've shared, the, the things we've created yes. together will always bind us. There's something special about what we've done together. Yeah. I want to talk about the night that Greg suffered a cardiac arrest yeah. and he was telling me that you've never spoken about it as a group together. How would you say that night impacted you, Jeff? I don't know, it just really made you think about life a bit more. I mean, it just reinforced that whole thing about the, how fragile life is um, and it's such a gift, it really is. There's not a day that goes by I don't think about what happened and how grateful I am that I survived, but at the same time I think about those people that don't survive and a little bit of that survivor guilt thing, I, I guess. Even people like Jeff or my parents talk about how it's affected them. There's a bit of that guilt attached to that, but if I can use my story in a positive way to share so there's more survivors, then that's a bit of a burden off my chest. And you know what I've just realised? You owe these guys one more concert. <laughs> oh, I probably owe them a few more than one, I reckon. <laughs> and, we're, and, we're, and we're looking forward to... Oh, it's going to be a glorious moment, the very next yeah, concert if, we do. If the original Wiggles can step back on stage again, for me personally, that would be a, a celebration. Mm. So, Greg Page, Survivor and original Yellow Wiggle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's true.